Hey, party people. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. All right. Let me get everything pulled up on my computer. And then we're going to give everyone a chance to tune in. And then we'll go ahead and get started with our art auction. So hold on, guys. It has been insanely hot in California. <laughs> like 100 degrees to get today. It's like very dehydrated. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, I have water. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Veronica. All right, and I'm going to zoom in a tiny bit. Okay. Hopefully that's not too much. All right, so for anyone new here to my art auctions, here's the rules. Um, very simply put, we have a, a starting bid for each item and uh, the next bid, of course, must beat that item. Bidding for each item lasts for two minutes. Um, buyer pays shipping. Once you win an item, um, you email me with your address, your shipping address, and I will get you an invoice by the end of the night. And then you just gotta pay it by Friday. Hey, kitty. So pretty simple rules. Um, it's not a huge auction tonight. We do have 14 items though. And after all of that, we're going to do some fun glow in the dark painting. That is, unless I die of heat exhaustion, before then. <laughs> Hi, Henry. So we're just going to give everybody a few minutes to tune in. Um, but we have all different sizes. We have some, uh, <laughs> I'll try not to. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Stephanie. We have some um, vases. We have some coasters and a few other surprises. So Hi, Lisa. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what we're gonna do after the art auction. So I have this painting, and I'm sorry because it's pretty zoomed in right now. <laughs> Thank you, Darlene. Oh, that's awesome, Nate. But um, I don't know if you guys remember this video actually on my husband's channel, um, but basically, after the art auction's done, we're going to turn out the lights and I'm going to add glow in the dark accents to this painting. So that's pretty exciting. I'm very excited at least. Uh oh, is it not buffering? Hopefully now. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorites. Hey, Tara. Um, and also, guys, uh, just keep in mind with the art auction that there is a bit of a delay and sometimes buffering and whatnot. Hey, Linda! Yay, you're here! Um, and sometimes buffering and whatnot. So we we do our best to get the correct winner of the art auction. So just have fun with it. Don't get offended. And plus, it's just me right now. Johnny is off working. So... That's all me. Hey, Denise. Huh. It's not buffering on my end. So can you see me waving my hands in front of the rules? Let's see. See how long the delay is. Oh, yeah, there it is. You may need to refresh. <laughs> hey, Kimberly. Yeah, you may need to, to refresh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the first auction item. So this one you guys have probably seen recently. And um, I will show it to you. I'll give you the starting bid. I'll start the timer, and then I'll we'll do a close-up. So this is an 8x10, and it's a recent one. This one's called, I'm calling this Winter Night. Let's see, let's position it correctly. Um, personally, I think it looks best, well, from your side, this way. But 
it can really go any direction. Actually, if you look at it like this, it looks like an avalanche. That's so cool. <laughs> um, all right. Anyways, so that's an 8x10 acrylic. Starting bid is $10 on that one. So we're going to go ahead and start our timer. And then, so I have this nice big timer here. Oops. I'm trying to get everything positioned correctly. Okay, start. <laughs> and then I'll come around and I'll do the close-up. Although we're pretty zoomed in there. Yeah, looks like a dark hole from this direction. So this, although it all looks black, look, you can see on the close-up, it's actually not. It's a metallic teal. And uh, this isn't sealed yet. Um, because otherwise it would be just too glossy to really show you guys. There's also blue in the sky there. So starting bid is $10. Yes, auction is open internationally. Just realize you'll have to pay international shipping, um, which usually runs around, I wanna say like 20 to $25 for most items, except for some of the bigger items, of course, will be more. Yeah. All right, we got, <laughs> hey Libby. Yes, Nate, you will see a few of those coming up. Hey, Monica. <laughs> um, yeah, not all of them, only some, like some, it really seems like they should be finished with the resin. Otherwise, I just uh, put a, a clear gloss coat on it. Yeah. <laughs> Missed you too, Libby. It's been a while. Although I do see you on other social media and in your comments. Hey, kitty. Got your painting ready to go out? Yes, there are larger ones coming up. <laughs> oh my gosh. My daughter set that song. Okay, Carla, you got in there right under the, the time. So $10 to Carla. Go ahead and email me your address um, at info at the painter in you dot com. All right. Good. So we're going to go on to the next one, which this one was actually in my last art auction, but the person never ended up paying. So we're going to do it again. This one's called Metallic Dream. It's a 10 by 10. Um, and this one is sealed with resin. So it's an acrylic pour and then it's uh, sealed with resin. So the starting bit on that one is $20. And I'm going to start my timer. First, I'm going to change that song. Maybe. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll do our close up. So, this is two part resin. It's sealed with Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat, is what I used. Um, and starting bid on this one's $20. It's a 10 by 10. <laughs> this is number two, Tina. Don't worry, you got here just in time. I'm gonna do the close up on this one. Once again, it's a 10 by 10 canvas here. I love this one. So this is one where sealing it with resin seemed like a really good idea. It's pretty much all metallic paints. Did this one a while back. I don't think I actually did it on a video. I'm not totally sure. Love it. All right. So we've got Brenda at 20. And we've got about a minute left. Oh, 
Hey, Antoinette. Welcome back. <laughs> I like your name. Oh, there you are, Peter. <laughs> Is a good name. Is there one similar with loads of cells? Um, I don't think so. At least not in this auction. Um, I generally work on not getting as much cells on my, uh, on my tree ring pores. So. Oh, that's awesome, Katie. All right, we've got Brenda at 22. We've got about 20 seconds left. Oh, yes, that is from Hook. I love that movie. All right, I think we went to uh, Brenda there at 22. So Brenda, go ahead and email me your address. Okay, and the next one is a set of coasters. Have you tried with glow-in-the-dark paint yet? Uh, tried what, an acrylic pour? Yes, absolutely. I actually did on a live video a couple weeks ago. Um, so we have, you guys will probably recognize these from one of my recent videos. These came out beautiful. So I picked four that I thought went well together. And these are um, acrylic pours. These are little MDF coasters. They're sealed with resin. And then da -da -da -da, here's how I finished the back. So it's painted and then it has the little felt pads. So this is for a set of four coasters and these are pretty light, so not really expensive. No, you didn't miss any trees. All right, um, so this one uh, for these starting bid is $10 and that's for the whole set of four. So I'm gonna start the timer and then we'll do our close up. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. So here's number one. And this, uh, the resin that it's sealed with is heat resistant and everything. So um, should be totally fine for hot cups. It is resin, so it's non-absorbent. Um, so for cold cups, it's honestly not the best. But for hot and for regular cups, you're golden. <laughs> Tara, you can definitely hang them on the wall. They could also be little pictures. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that these went quite well together as a set. So I think we have Monica at 10. And we've got about a minute left. Where's the dip project? Uh, which dip project? You mean from this same video? The, the one that was a dip? Bye. <laughs> and for that at 12. After the phone. Oh! <laughs> Uh, no, this is the only uh, coaster set for tonight. Hold on one second. Um, these aren't done yet, but I made a bunch of... The dip project was a bunch of these. They're um, canvas magnets. Anyways, that's what I did after the phone. I made a whole bunch of these. <laughs> I'm... Time's up. Still deciding what to do with them exactly from here, but that's what I did. Okay, I think we ended, oh hey babe. I think we ended up with Monica at 16. Well, those are magnets. Um, 
and I'm going to do something else on there. Anyways, Monica, go ahead and email me. Moving right along. <laughs> no problem. Uh, yeah, I have your, I do have your info. But, you know, if you feel like emailing me again, just for funsies. <laughs> no worries, Dina. Okay, next one. Also, a recent one that you guys will have seen. Now, this one changed a bit as it dried, but I still am totally in love with it. So, I'm calling this one Firestorm. This is a 8 by 10 canvas. <laughs> Thank you, just for funsies, Monica. Um, acrylic pour. So, it has some really cool lacing and everything in here. I'm going to start the timer. Starting bid is $10. And then we'll go ahead and we will do our close up. I like using the tablet, it's very clear. Okay. So, this is not yet sealed. Once it is sealed, it will pop even more. Um, so, we've got our lacing in there. This is the uh, fire corner. Yeah, I love this one. And I like it too because it was definitely out of my comfort zone in terms of colors. So, I, as you can tell, I do a lot of blues and purples. <laughs> um, do I take requests for paintings? Like, um, do you mean like to auction off or, or color schemes to paint or things like that? Um, but yeah, I take requests for pretty much anything. <laughs> oh, for colors? Yeah, absolutely. There we got Crystal at $10 on this one. And we've got about a minute left. I do have color shift paints. Um, let's see, the colors that I have right now, I just finished using up my purple flash, but I have current, oh no, that is purple flash. Okay, I have purple flash, black flash, and green flash. And I think somewhere I have orange flash as well. I love the color shift paints. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so, Nat, uh, the shipping roughly to Australia would be about 20, it would be about 20 bucks. Just to let you know. On an 8x10, I just, uh, <laughs> I just went and priced that out. Okay, so I think we ended up with Jay Lewis at 16 on that one. Okay, perfect. So Jay, go ahead and I probably have your address also, but email me. No, you were right, Tina. Jay said 16. We're good. All right. Um... <laughs> okay, um, we're going to move along here. So here's the next one. I may have to zoom out because we're getting to some that are a little bigger. I am titling this one On the River. It is 12 by 12 acrylic pour on canvas that is sealed with resin. Yeah, Pina, you may have to charge yours. That may be the problem. You may just have to charge it in the sun. Um, also, using a lot of it really helps. Okay. This is a 12 by 12 acrylic pour sealed with resin. The starting bid on this is 25. I'm going to start the timer. And then we'll do our close-up. <laughs> I do need to clean this one. It got a little dusty. Um, and of course, it's very glossy. So we've got basically, whew, 
two sides, the light in the dark. Also, um, lots of metallics in here. And I just love this section. And I love the dichotomy. I love how they go, they go together like that. And they just kind of perfectly blend into each other, I think. So don't worry, I will dust it off before sending it to you. <laughs> Um, okay, guys, close your eyes for a second. I'm going to zoom back out because you can't see the whole thing anymore. It's too big. Oh, let's zoom in. Okay. Yep. I wish the zoom wasn't so finicky on this thing. All right. I don't know if we have a starting bit on this one yet. $25. I think I can fit all three in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got crystal at 25 Yeah, it reminds me of water, too. That's why I was like, it makes me think of a river. <laughs> but yeah, deep waters, I can see that, too. Yeah, starry night, absolutely. I just add some yellow in there. <laughs> hey, Denise Edwards, welcome. All right, I think we ended up with Crystal there at 25. So Crystal, go ahead and email me. Good, all right, this next one. so sure about the title on this one um <laughs> but i'm calling it purple angel <laughs> and uh there is an accompanying vase but they um are being auctioned separately so here's the vase which will be the next auction item i'm just going to show you in case anyone wants to win both this is an 11 by 14 canvas and it's an acrylic pour. And the starting bid on this is $20. I'm going to start the timer. Um, so shipping across the United States for this is usually about 11 bucks. It's not much. This is a 11 by 14. And we'll do our close-up. <laughs> um, purples and blues, basically. So there's that one. I'm not buffing on my end. Um, maybe try refreshing. Hey, Renee Robinson. Welcome. Um, this will be sealed with gloss afterwards. I just didn't want to seal it beforehand because then it's just too glossy. Um, the biggest piece in this auction is a uh, 16 by 16. I mean, I have a 10 by 20 also. I guess that's bigger. I don't have... No really big pieces tonight. All right, we've got about 25 seconds left on this one, and this is a uh, starting bid, $20. Hey, Tammy Owen. <laughs> yeah, so all of these will be uh, sealed before shipping out. They, I finish up the backs, I seal them, I sign them, and then they go. I don't think we had any bids on that one. But we are still going to do the vase. So this vase is about um, eight inches high. It's a round vase. And 
purples, blues, and whites. This is the bottom. That's how it looks sitting up. Let's go ahead and put some flowers in it. Oh, how pretty. <laughs> um, let's see. Down here. There. Oh, oh. All right. So starting bit on this one is $10 and shipping about 10 bucks there. Um, Renee, this is number seven out of 14. So we'll do our close up. I love it. It's pretty simple. I know. Look at me staging the vase. I was just like, oh, I have these flowers sitting right there. <laughs> it's hard to get it in the camera, though. Anywho, starting bit 10 bucks for that. And we've got about a minute. Um, this is not resined yet, but once again, will be resined. I resin all the bases. Okay, we've got Monica at 10 bucks. Yeah, I resin all my bases now. It's my new thing. It just works so much better. <laughs> I'm sorry, Denise. All right. It's looking like Monica's going to get this for a steal. Do, 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 do. And we've got about 20 seconds left. We have a contender. <laughs> okay, Monica at 12. <laughs> Eight seconds. Monica at 14. Monica, don't outbid yourself. <laughs> oh, all right. Who won? Was it Monica or Monica? I'm pretty sure it was Monica. Okay. Three piece ribbon pour. Actually, that already sold. Sorry, <laughs> um, someone snagged that up super quickly. Yep. Okay, so Monica, add that to your tab. All right, next, I'm very excited about this. This one is called Peacock at Night. And this one is one of the glow in the dark ones. So I'm not gonna turn out the lights today, I don't think. Well, maybe I will for just a second. <laughs> it's 11 by 14. Do you guys want to see it in the dark? I didn't charge it very much, so I'm not sure how much it will glow right this exact second, but okay. I'm going to turn out the lights just for just a second. And I might as well show you because I'm doing the vase next. So we'll just go ahead and do both real quick. I have to stand by the light switch, otherwise it gets so dark I can't find it. Here we go. Oh, the tablet. Oh, the tablet messed it up. Did you guys see that at all? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> they, they glow quite well. All right, Tina, sheesh, settle down. Okay, so starting bid on this one is, um, this one's $20. And I'm gonna start the timer. And then, come on. Oop. Then we'll do a close up. All right. <laughs> yeah, I love these. I mean, anything glow in the dark is just epic. So not only is it like gorgeous in the light, I think. And remember too, this still isn't sealed yet even. It'll look even more beautiful when it is. Um, it does look like a crashing wave. 
Yeah. But yeah, close in the dark. Um, I'm just I'm not gonna use epoxy on this. I'm just gonna use the the rust oleum to seal it. So just give it a little little pop. Uh, the vase will be resined though, um, and in the uh, in the resin on the vase, I'm gonna put a little bit of the stone coat glow in the dark in there. Yeah, this is 11 by 14. I think we have uh, charming drop at 20. And we've got less than a minute left. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, Veronica, I hope you're going to get the base too, because these really should stay together. All right, doesn't look like you're going to have much of a competition. No competition. <laughs> uh, yes, this is the only glow-in-the-dark painting, uh, except for the, the vase glows in the dark as well. Yeah. And that will be next. <laughs> All right, so Charming Giraffe. Good. And next we have the vase, the matching vase. Let's go ahead and we'll put our flowers in there again. So you can see how pretty it looks. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, so also glows in the dark. Um, starting bids 10 bucks. Gonna go ahead and do the, yeah, flowers not included. Go ahead and do the close up here. I love this. I mean, I could include the flowers if you really want to, but they're just from the dollar store. <laughs> Good night, Brenda. Yeah, this one's pretty darn epic. So, starting bid, 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, you're going to break them up. Everybody needs a vase. You can always have a really good gift. <laughs> All right, we got Kitty at $11. <laughs> and we got about 50 seconds left. So this is number nine, guys, out of 14. And then there's one little bonus thing at the end <laughs> um, after number 14. But anyways, all right, so we got Kitty at 11. Do, 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 do. And about 25 seconds left. And yeah, guys, don't forget to thumbs up, okay? Please. Ten, nine, eight, seven. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So we got Kitty at 11 there. All right, Kitty, go ahead and email me. And next one we have is da, 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 the serving tray. This is approximately 10 by 16 inches ish, a little bit bigger. Um, it is acrylic pour sealed with resin inside. Um, yeah, there we go. So starting bid on this one is $30. I'm gonna start the timer and then we'll do our close up. I think you guys have seen this one, but probably not with the resin in it. 
And just full disclosure, this is just like, you know, cheap wood stuff. <laughs> but it's really pretty and it makes it really durable. So it has a lot of sparkle in there. <laughs> of course it's resin, so it's hard to, it's really, really glossy. So just a really cute serving tray would be great to have, you know, drinks on it. You see me? <laughs> um, or food or whatever, you know, charcuterie. <laughs> All right, we got Monica at 30. Okay, Tina, we'll wait for you. <laughs> We've got about a minute left. Yeah, I love this one. And it's actually pretty light too. The resin does make it a little bit heavier, but other than that, it's, it's quite light. Thanks, Tiffany. All right, got about 20 seconds left. <laughs> okay, thanks, Monica. Looks like a sprite riding a sea turtle. I could see that. <laughs> I totally understand, Katie. Okay. So that one went to Monica at 30, I guess. <laughs> she keeps throwing out numbers. Okay. And we have four more. So the next one is resin. I friggin' love this one. I mean, I friggin' love all of them. 30 or 32. I don't know. Whatever you feel like. Okay. So this one is red, black, and gold. It's called Sphinx. It is 12 by 12 resin on canvas. Starting bit is 25. Starting the timer. <laughs> Thanks, Monica. Um, so once again, not my usual color scheme, but I had accidentally put these colors together in another painting. Super reflective. So I ended up doing a whole painting with just these colors. Oh my gosh, it's like hard to show, not show how messy my garage is. <laughs> yeah, so I love this one. Hey, hi guys. <laughs> Crack myself up sometimes. Okay, starting bit on that one's 25. <laughs> oh, Denise. Well, how did I do that? With magic. <laughs> All right. Renee at 25. Anyone want to loan Denise some money? It gets awful quiet in here. <laughs> All right. Well, Renee, I don't think you're going to have any competition on this one. It's I mean, it's got some flexibility because it is canvas. Yes, it's not wood, but the resin makes it a lot less flexible. Okay, I think we got Renee 25 there. All right, so this next one is 10 by 20. It's also an acrylic pour on canvas and it is sealed with resin. 
Um, this has, it's, it's much more earthly toned, which <laughs> once again, not in my color zone normally. Um, 10 by 20. So starting bid on this one is $30. I'm calling this one Earth Ripple. <laughs> we'll start the timer and then we'll do our uh, close up here. Uh, this one had some unicorn spit in it and kind of all different things. Love it. Earth Ripple. Yep. So there we go. And it looks good in any direction, really. I tend to put it side to side, but up and down looks good as well. Yeah. So starting bit on this is 30. <laughs> Hey, um, you did, we have, this is the third to last item. <laughs> All right, we got Renee at 30. Two more after this. I love when spiders run at your feet. This one does not glow in the dark. We've got about 30 seconds left on this. <laughs> and we have Renee at 30 on this one. Yeah, I let spiders live in my studio. But I like when I know where they are. Hey, Frank. Welcome from the UK. All right. So I think that went to Renee. Yep, still going to Santa Fe. That's at the end of September. I think it's like the 21st and 22nd. Okay, so here's the next one. This is a, <laughs> a 12 inch round. This one is the Peacock. So um, acrylic pour with acrylic painting. You guys saw me do this in a couple different videos. Um, starting bid on this one's $40. So I'm going to start the timer, start the timer, and then we'll do the close up. So metallics, um, yeah. Sure, you guys saw. Well, most probably, most of you saw me do this one. <laughs> yeah, I love this one. One of my <laughs> oh, thanks, Monica. All right, so we've got Pina at forty. I hope I'm saying your name right. <laughs> and we've got about a minute left. Leslie at forty-five. So we have one more after this, guys. All right, Pina at 50. Oh, Monica, you're so sweet. P pin Pinna, like Pinna. <laughs> All right, 20 seconds. We've got Pinna at 50. <laughs> All 
Are we talking about the, the purple canvas? Okay. So that one went to Pinna at 50. So go ahead and email me info at the All right, and this is kind of our big one for the night. I don't know if you guys remember this one, but I love it. This is 16 by 16 wood resin on 16 by 16 wood uh, called Garden of Sand. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. <laughs> yeah. One of my all time faves. So, um, I don't know if you can see, but it has this bronze that just sits on the top of it and gives it all this crazy dimension, which is just gorgeous. It's pretty light colored overall. We'll go with most decor. And this is wood, very sturdy. It's gonna last forever. Can also be used as a weapon. Just kidding, sort of. So, did I say starting bid? Starting bid, $90. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Denise, I would take her up on it. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. Starting bid, $90. Do you think I should start the timer over? I think we're fine. Okay. I love when people ask questions and then answer them themselves as if they never expected an answer. <laughs> and this is 16 by 16 wood, once again. Ooh. All right, got about 30 seconds left. Now guys, just to give you some perspective, this um, is up for sale for over $300 in my Etsy shop. So if anyone wants to snag it for just 90 bucks, it's a really good deal. All right, time's up, okay. Yeah, I love doing the resin on wood. I usually do what when I can. Okay. So we do have one more thing. Um, <laughs> no worries. Now, this one is for my daughter, okay guys? So I promised her that I would include one. <laughs> Sorry, Frank, I'm not so sure. <laughs> um, so this one is a five by seven canvas panel that my daughter painted. And this is the only one we're gonna do from her. I told her I would, uh, yes. Denise, this is the one Monica's talking about, I think, right? Beautiful. Um, let me just double check that, right? The purple one? Yeah, purple angel. I will go closer up. Hold your horses. Okay, so starting bid on this one is $8, and you will probably want to frame it, and we'll do a close-up. So this is just hand-painted, and um, it's part of her dog series. So this is on a different planet. She signed it and everything. Let's do a close-up. <laughs> She is amazing. Look how she did that with her pen and everything. Um, yeah, anyway, she's doing a whole dog series. It's quite something. <laughs> okay. And shipping on this one will be really inexpensive because it's um, it's pretty light. All right, we've got Catherine at 11. We got Lisa at 12. 
Linda at 14. Yeah, one of these, uh, I'll do a video, I'll show you guys her whole series. She's basically inventing different kinds of dogs. It's, it's quite something. <laughs> yeah, she is very talented and just even more creative than I am. It's hard to say that, but it's true. Like her creativity is just astounding. She's been painting her pencils for back to school. She painted her, um, her pencil box for back to school. She just, <laughs> she's painted everything basically. I've created a monster. <laughs> All right. So I think that ended with Charlotte at 20. Okay, Charlotte, go ahead and email me. She will be thrilled. All right, awesome. So that's it for the art auction. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our glow in the dark stuffs. Who's excited for the glow in the dark? Woo, woo, I am. Okay, I'm gonna, I have to get set up for just a minute. And then I'm going to turn out the lights and we're going to do this by black light. <laughs> yes, Frank, um, I do an auction about once a month. Oh, no worries, Charlotte. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, so definitely more art auctions coming, especially if I end up moving as soon as I hope to move. So everybody make sure you email me as quickly as possible what we're going to do here is um going to take you take this and basically i'm just going to add accents with the glow in the dark i don't want to do anything that will really drastically change the painting it's just gonna lauren you're here Good night, Charlotte. Um, it's just gonna add some really fun accents. So, get the black light out. Make sure it's plugged in. And then I have, I think I'm going to just kind of go with the, the tried and true, the super glow here I've been using, but I also have this plaid glow away, um, which is glow in the dark gel. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's, there's delays guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's get our brush out. Let's get our light on. I'm gonna put the black light on the other side. I'm gonna attach the black light to the tripod here. Stay. Oh, don't move my tripod. Please hold. Technical difficulties. Okay. Good. That should work. Theoretically. All right. Lights are going out. And we're going to have some fun. Cool. So, as so you can see, my glow in the dark paint is very glowy. Um, 
I only have a little bit of light. I might not even have enough light, actually. Might have to turn on one light <laughs> to actually see what I'm painting on here. Yeah. Let's try it. Try it and see what happens. So you guys aren't going to know what this looks like so much until we turn on the lights. That's kind of the whole point. That's the fun of this all. I did this with another painting of mine that I gave to a friend and it was just like the coolest thing since sliced bread pretty much. And mind you, I can't see it very well either. <laughs> okay, bye Tina. Oh, we had some delays on the bids, huh? I want to do this moon, however, it's just peeking out, so that makes it a little difficult. Let's see. I'm just going to give it like a little glow. Some of this I may have to adjust a little bit when I turn the lights back on so do you guys like this kind of stuff when we do like the glow in the dark and stuff like that I personally love it but if it's something you guys would like to see more of, let me know. Or if it's like, you're like, eh, whatever. We're going to give the water some glow here. <laughs> I think everything should glow in the dark, too. <laughs> All right. Now the trick with this is really to just just go light on it. It can be easy to overdo it. So this over here is some grass. I'm just gonna give some little highlights. And also it looks like I'm doing probably quite a bit, but once we turn on the lights, we'll see that it's not, it's not really that much. Okay. Oh, that's awesome, Lauren. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to use it as a lamp. Having trouble seeing. <laughs> Obviously, the moon's here in the middle. So, what about in the sky? Ooh, what about in the sky? All right, let's do it. Let's go all Bob Ross on this stuff here. Let's see. What I normally use my foam brush. Let me It's also awesome knowing that there's a spider lurking in here. Oh. All right, I'm gonna just have to make do with this one.
Now this is a night sky. <laughs> well, yeah, Halloween is approaching. Yeah, it's too dark in here to find anything, so I can't find any foam brushes. That's okay. This will do. I can't even tell what this is. There's another mountain over here. All right. <laughs> Did I do okay on my clouds there? I may have overdone it on this one. This one got a little crazy, but that's okay. It happens. The good thing about this too is that if I want to, I can go back over it with regular paint and kind of hide some of it. So either way, it's not the end of the world. All right, now down here are some little like reeds. So we're going to add some little highlights down in there too. It's like my brush glows in the dark. So cool. I don't know what it is about glow-in-the-dark stuff that's just so exciting to me. Can't even really see what I'm going over here. Just kind of adding little bits. And I'll probably go back over here with some black, some more black later. But, you know, maybe not. I really like this mountain. All right, I think just a tad more and then we'll turn on the lights. There we go, what do you guys think? So not too crazy, just kind of some accents in there. I'll turn it around. Do, do, do. There we go. <laughs> and my fingers glow in the dark. <laughs> so like down here by the reeds, I might add in a little black again, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna turn on the lights. And we're going to see what difference. <laughs> Looks like I can jump into that painting. Yeah, I know, right? At nighttime, you're just going to go swimming in that peaceful water. Okay, let's find the light switch. Here we go. Lights are coming back on. Close your eyes. Woo! So, if you'll notice, this is the awesome part is that it literally made virtually no difference on the actual painting. Is that not super awesome? Like you can't even tell that it's there. So that's also one of the fun things about Glow in the Dark is it's like a secret painting in there. Yeah, whoop whoop. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Sorry, big screen bird. So, what do you guys think? Maybe I'll include this one in my next art auction. Now that you know it glows in the dark. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a fantastic time. Um, now, if anyone wants to snag this before the art auction, just go ahead and message me. That's how people have been getting paintings recently. 
before anybody else. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't already. And don't forget to email me if you won a piece in the art auction. And I will see you guys later.